In the explain phase, teachers guide students toward a deeper understanding of the learning concept. Students describe what they have learned in the previous phases. Then the teacher helps them clarify their ideas through questioning and even direct explanation of concepts and terminology. This phase features a teacher-guided discussion where students share their new learning. The discussion is structured to help students connect new concepts to their prior understanding. Through dialogue focused on explanation, students and teachers work together to establish shared understanding. Formal vocabulary is then introduced. Here we see the fold the line strategy where students exchange and discuss their ideas. The class then transitions to a teacher-guided discussion about the ideas they shared. As learners explain their understanding of the concept, the teacher asks probing and guiding questions to help them make additional connections between their experiences in the explore phase and the existing knowledge they brought into the lesson. Do you all remember the summer work? that we have this logical fallacy that says it's like there's only two choices in the world. And so like the logic that they were using was that those were the only two choices and you're saying that there were other choices. So you're pointing out a logical fallacy there in action, so good. As the teacher guides students to deeper levels of comprehension and higher order thinking, collaborative discussions result in shared understanding. Can anyone tell me what this is? The eye things. Those off doctor's eye things that you use what are they? to make the drug. It's called a foropter, which is a pH foropter. Some of you guys were starting to tell me that, that the lenses switch out and then it's used to help uh, doctors do what? Yeah, see what your vision is. You need glasses. Oh yeah, so exactly what prescription you need, like where you stand. And you know, each um, patient is going to be different, right? They're not, everybody's gonna have a little bit of a different combination, correct? And so yeah, question, how would a, um, how could we take that and metaphorically explain how arguments can be seen through different lenses and how that would help an argument? Charity? Um, so everybody's eyes, see everything a different way. Everybody has a different opinion about something. So just like if you have a different prescription in your glasses than somebody else, you can see more pr clearly. And if somebody was to look through your glasses, they may not be able to see things as clear as you do. Okay, okay, that's good. You gave me, y'all give me chills here, okay. <laughs> I have one additional idea to add to this though. So when the um, veropter, when he's changing out the lenses, the letters that they're looking at on the back, do the letters change? Do the letters themselves change? What changes? Okay, so how can we put that in an argument? What never changes in an argument? The truth of the facts, right? What changes? The way you approach the problem, right? The way you approach the argument your opinion is what changes, right? That was the only thing I wanted to add because that came to me earlier and I was like, oh yes, this is really important to remember that the background doesn't change how we see it changes. So we've got one thing that you guys are gonna do today. You're gonna put this into uh, practice. Now later we're gonna watch um, somebody who uses argument as their career, but right now we're gonna put this into practice. So this is where your blank piece of paper comes in. I've got four topics right here okay and you get to pick one and I want you to write it at the top of your paper and you are going to create a quick argument over these topics okay first question should schools abolish homework second question should all students receive free breakfast and lunch third question should teachers be accountable for poor test scores and four is online learning effective just pick one write it at the top for me please in addition to discussion, text-based materials, videos, and digital activities may be incorporated to further enhance students' understanding of the concept. These resources provide additional information to help students grasp the concepts with more depth.
Even though students may have used vocabulary in their own words in previous phases, the explain phase is where formal vocabulary is officially confirmed by the teacher. One of those really important conditions for natural selection that's in the research portion of the introduction of the lab, where survival is not random. So those toothpick birds, even though there was a valiant effort <laughs> by one of our toothpick birds, um, ultimately those toothpick birds were really just not successful in the hard food trials. And so they would probably not survive to reproduce as much and their kind might die out. We have seen that the explain phase provides students with teacher guided opportunities to learn new concepts by organizing prior and new knowledge in ways that facilitate deeper understanding of a learning topic. Next, in the extend phase, students use what they have learned for further practice, application to new situations, or problem-solving activities. 